welcome to Dean Sammy Caddies. This week I have a little surprise for you. Um, if you don't follow us on Instagram, this will be complete new news to you. I'll put the information here. Please follow us at Dean Sammy Caddies. Um, I also have a TikTok, but I don't post a lot on there because um, I'm still learning how to use it. Um, but yeah, we have a little surprise. We have new guinea pigs. So let's go meet the new additions to our Dean Savvy Cabbies guinea pig family. This is little Coco Chanel. She's the newest addition to our guinea pig family. Um, <clears throat> isn't she beautiful? She's only about two and a half months old. She weighed 255 when we got her on Sunday. And today's Wednesday, and uh, when this video goes live, it'll be Thursday. Um, <clears throat> so I've had her a few days. Um, so I would say she's somewhere between eight to 10 weeks um, based on my guesstimation of weight, um, but you just never know. And we picked this her out because she's very shy and um, we were told that she would probably be, be a good fit for Peanut because Peanut is also kind of quiet and shy, um, but a little older, so they, they should get along. Well, it turns out um, Peanut is, uh, I don't know if she's jealous, what it is, but she, she um, doesn't like uh, Coco Chanel getting too close to her in the cage. It's very interesting. Um, so what I'm gonna do um, later, I'm gonna try bonding Coco Chanel and Peanut with the trio and see if I can make a herd of five again. Um, Cause I think that would be nice if they're all together. Um, and I actually did have floor time with Yuna. I didn't film it, I'm so sorry. I wish I had now. I had floor time with Yuna and Peanut and Coco Chanel, and they got along really well. Um, Yuna really took to Coco really quickly, and um, we want to see your face, little one. Can we see your face? <laughs> she's so shy. There she is, she's beautiful. Hello, little one. <laughs> Where was it? Oh yes, so Yuna really took so well to um, Coco Chanel. She was really maternal, and I was expecting that because when we got Yuna, she uh, had had a litter of uh, babies previously, um, so she had already been a mom, and she seems to have that maternal instinct with the younger guinea pigs, so that's really good. Um, so here's Coco Chanel. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, that's my other surprise here, <laughs> making noise. I'm gonna put her back in her cage because um, I just think that she needs to um, be back in her cage. It's, this is a lot of excitement. The lights aren't really good for her eyes. Um, but there she is. I'm so in love with her. She's beautiful. She's very sweet and it's amazing just how fast she is. She's lightning fast when she dashes around the cage and she's very difficult to take in and out of the cage because she just is squirmy, squirmy, squirmy. Um, even with that grip that I showed last week's video. Here's the link um, up above. Uh, but yeah, little baby guinea pigs are difficult anyways, and they should only be handled by someone who's really good with, uh, comfortable with guinea pigs, who can um, make sure that they're safe. Never let children handle your guinea pigs or take them in and out of the cage. Um, you know, I have, I have children and it's hard to tell them not to because they don't want to follow directions, they don't want to listen. But you have to get the kids to um, understand that the guinea pigs are toys. So anyways, yes, there's Coco Chanel. She's beautiful. Hi, Peanut, she's up in the lounge. Um, sorry, she's up in the, in her Midwest mezzanine. Mm. Yeah, a little more light on the subject. It's really hard to film under there. Is that better? No. Anyways, that's Peanut. You barely see her in the dark. Hmm. So introducing. This is Fifi. Hello, Fifi. And this gorgeous chonker over here is Amy. Hello, Amy. Hello, Fifi. I'm really nervous they're not used to everything just yet, but they're really sweet. They are three years old, around that age. <laughs> so this is Fifi. Hello, Fifi lady. Yeah, you can kind of see her, her funny mohawk thing going on there. It's so cool. <laughs> like 
feels really neat when you pet her. It doesn't seem to bother her when you pet her along it either. I want to feed you some vitamin C, darling. Here, have some vitamin C. Please, Tinker. I can't see your mouth. Please, please take the vitamin C, darling. Come on. Hey, baby. Let's kind of have it gently guide it into her mouth. Your little tongue. There you go. Okay, that's working. I just pet her on the head and back of the ears and kind of raises her head up so I can stick it in there. <laughs> hmm. She's a little bit of a licker. She likes to lick. She's got such a sweet little tongue. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. So that's a little Fifi. It's got the cat tail on there. Cat. <laughs> okay, I need to get the cat out of the room. She's a little old and senile. She doesn't know what's going on. But there's Fifi. Let's see if we can get um, Amy some vitamin C as well. Some vitamin C in a syringe. I use the Child Life. Um, can't see it the darn light. I use the Child Life liquid vitamin C. Um, I've done a video about it. I'm thinking about re redoing it. Um, I, I can film it from the YouTube and then re-edit it and <laughs> make it a little more relevant because it's poorly filmed. But I'm thinking I'm going to redo that. Um, but this is the child life vitamin C that I feed uh, the guinea pigs that can't take the tablets, which are the Oxbow um, vitamin C. Um, the tablets are good, but the liquid is better. So that's what I'm giving uh, to the new baby, Coco Chanel, and to the two older, um, Amy and Fifi, um, just because they need the extra nutrition and they're not really understanding they're supposed to eat the cookie the little um vitamin c tablet coco chanel doesn't know what this is she's like what the heck oh yeah they hear the wrestling <laughs> i haven't given the older girls this yet um as soon as i can source more of the liquid i'm almost out i'll start giving them liquid again um but yeah right now i'm gonna give this to amy i'll, I'll pull her out and um we can oh Hello, babies. Who's that, Sally? And Ginger, hello, darlings. Oh, and there's Yuna. Can't see her in the background. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see her. She stands up and chews the bar. <laughs> Great white piggy in the cage like Moby Dick. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give this to Amy. Let's not get distracted. So here's Amy. Hi, Amy. Say hello, YouTube. Let's, let's hold her properly. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. She's gorgeous, isn't she? She's beautiful. So she, she's also three years old. She has, unfortunately, has a broken toenail. She won't let me clip it off, and she's going back to the vet, so we'll have that fixed. Um, and she's got really long toenails. I've been clipping them. She's got a little bit of bumble foot on this foot. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see it very much. They both have really bad feet. They were not well taken care of, but now they are going to be. I'm so happy for them can have a better life and yeah I don't know if you can see it's so hard to do this on the camera she has you can see them chewed up ears you can't really see them but her ears are all chewed up to you can kind of see them a little bit they're all chewed up poor thing um I was told that she was originally living with a boar a boy and another girl um and they were um they were separated. Now it's just these two, the Fifi and Amy. I don't know what happened to the girl. She may have been pregnant. Um, I know that the boy was taken away from the girls. I think they were being used for breeding, but I don't really, you don't know. You just don't know. That's my guess. Um, so here, let's give Amy some vitamin C. But yeah, see, she knows what this is. She takes it pretty well. Yeah, you know, this Fifi that doesn't like it. But Amy's really good. She's, ooh, you're a good model for the vitamin C girl. Hmm. <laughs> And I think there's something wrong with um, Phoebe's teeth. She doesn't like to chew so much. But they're going back to the vet. Hold her checked out again. I love it. She's got a little black on her. That's so pretty. Tricolor that way. There we go. A little vitamin C. <laughs> so sweet. There's 
very, very loving. And once they get past that, oh my gosh, what's happening to me uh, part when you pick them up and they get scared, once they relax, they're very sweet and loving. I love this one side is around their face, eye and ears black and one is white, that's so cool. <laughs> so that's little Amy, hello little Amy. Not little, he's big. So that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to give you an update what's happening in the guinea pig room and the new additions. Um, and I want to thank you for all your support and kindness. Um, sending condolences for um, blue cheese. That was very sweet. That's one of the things I like about um, the guinea pig community. We all support each other and um, we help each other out when we need it. We um, give encouragement and help and it's just nice to meet really nice people out there with guinea pigs and meet nice guinea pigs too be sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos